pivot shift test of the knee, ACL tear. The anterior crochet ligament is located in the front of the knee. Rupture of the ACL is a condition commonly seen in sports, usually due to a non-contact pivoting injury. The pivot shift test is a specific test for ACL deficient knee and ACL injury. Pivot shift is pathognomonic for an ACL tear and is best demonstrated in a chronic setting. Lachman test is the most sensitive examination test for an ACL injury. The ACL keeps the tibia from sliding out in front of the femur and provides rotational stability to the knee. Rupture of the ACL causes anterolateral rotatory instability. You can see here that the ACL is ruptured and you can see the anterolateral rotatory instability. The tibia moves anterolaterally in extension. However, when you flex the knee, the IT band becomes a flexor of the knee. The IT band pulls back and reduces the tibia. The IT band is located on the lateral aspect of the thigh and the knee. The pivot shift test goes from extension where the tibia is subluxed to flexion with the tibia reduced by the iliotibial band. How do you perform the pivot shift test? It is really an examination for the ACL deficient knee. Both Lachman's test and the pivot shift tests are associated with 20 to 30 degrees of knee flexion. Lachman's test starts at 20 to 30 degrees of flexion. With the pivot shift test, you feel the clunk at 20 to 30 degrees of flexion. 20 to 30 degrees of flexion is important in the examination of the ACL. Remember that. How do you do the Lachman test? The femur is stabilized with one hand and the other hand pulls the tibia anteriorly and posteriorly against the femur. The tibia can be pulled forward more than normal and it's called anterior translation. The examiner will have a sense of increased movement and lack of a solid end point. How about the pivot shift test? How do you do that? The patient should be lying supine. Make sure the patient is totally relaxed. With pivot shift, the knee is in the subluxed position when the knee is in full extension. The pivot shift starts with extension of the knee and you can feel a clunk at 20 to 30 degrees of flexion. Hold the knee in full extension, then add valgus force plus internal rotation of the tibia to increase the rotational instability of the knee. Then take the knee into flexion. You can feel a palpable clunk on the outside of the knee as the tibia reduces. A palpable clunk is very specific for an ACL tear. The iliotibial band will reduce the tibia and create the clunk on the outside of the knee. Always compare with the other side. ACL prevents anterior translation of the tibia. It is a secondary restraint to tibial rotation and varus and valgus. The ACL consists of two bundles, the posterolateral bundle, which prevents the pivot shift, it contributes to rotational stability, 
and also prevents internal rotation of the tibia with the knee in near extension. Tighten extension and loose inflection. If it is sectioned, it increases the anterior translation and tibial rotation at 30 degrees of flexion. How about the anteromedial bundle? It is tight in flexion. If it is sectioned, it increases the anterior translation at 90 degrees of flexion. Lachman test is the most sensitive test, especially in acute settings and the examiner will find no end point with anterior translation of the tibia. In an acute setting, physical examination can be difficult or limited due to pain. With the pivot shift test, the patient must be completely relaxed and the test is helpful in chronic situations, especially if the patient complains of the knee giving way. In pivot shift, the knee subluxes in extension and reduces at 20 to 30 degrees of flexion. The pivot shift correlates closely with the patient's satisfaction of the reconstructed knees. It is a measure of functional instability following ACL reconstruction. Vertical femoral tunnel placement will cause rotational instability seen as a positive pivot shift and the malposition of the bone tunnel will be seen in an AP view x-ray of the knee. The 9 or 10 o'clock position is better than, for example, the 12 o'clock position. The vertical position is bad. The patient with an ACL injury usually has a non-contact pivoting injury event with an awkward landing, feeling a pop sensation, immediate swelling, aspiration usually shows blood in the knee. There is a 75% chance of an ACL tear when you aspirate blood from the knee. Positive Lachman test. It may be hard to examine the knee initially because of the pain. Aspiration of the knee may make the examination easier. Radiological examination. You will get an MRI. The MRI of the knee will show the hematoma and it may show bone lesion or bruising in the typical location which is characteristic with tears of the ACL. These injuries are typically located at the middle of the femoral condyle and the posterior part of the tibia laterally. You may find a triple injury within the MRI. Sometimes it's called the unhappy triad. You may find a meniscus injury. Here you can see the lateral meniscal tear, the anterior cruciate ligament injury, here you can see a normal ACL compared to an anterior cruciate ligament injury, and the medial collateral ligament injury. Other radiological findings in ACL tear can be seen in my video, ACL tears radiological evaluation. In chronic ACL tears, the posterior horn of the medial meniscus is the most commonly injured structure. In acute ACL tear, send the patient for therapy for range of motion, Brace the patient and allow the MCL to heal and reconstruct the ACL later if needed. Stress hamstring therapy in ACL tear. The patient with ACL tear will probably complain of instability immediately or later on. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.